Hello. I hope you're all all right. Um, it's, you know, it's been gorgeous weather this week, hasn't it? So starting our assembly with something uh, really lovely that I'm grateful for. Um, the sunny weather has been absolutely amazing. And when I was in my garden yesterday, I was looking at my pond and a frog came up to see me. And I was really, really excited because um, I didn't know it was living there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, a couple of things that I've uh, got that are really, really exciting. So, um, you know, it doesn't have to be things that you, you're excited with either or things that you're pleased about. It's just something really nice that you've noticed. Your turn. Two things. Go. Well done. Hopefully you've got lots of things that you're looking forward to or you're excited about. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a, a little bit of a think about how those lights are glaring at us. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at uh, something that we did last week in assembly. And then we're going to have a look at our school mission statement, because that's always a good thing to go over. And then I'm going to tell you a short story from the Bible. So... Last week, we were looking at treating others how you want to be treated. Do unto others as you, as you would have them uh, do unto you. Or that really cool book, Do Unto Waters. Okay? So that is really, really important. And that is at the heart of everything that we do. It's about treating ourselves with respect, other people with respect, and property with respect, following our school rules to make sure that we're looking after the place, we're looking after each other, all of those sorts of things. And have a quick chat in class how does what we've just talked about treating other people the way we want to be treated help oops I've gone too far help us to be responsible local national and global citizens okay quick conversation in class quick discussion put your hands up if you've got an idea share with your teachers right well done okay that's really good now i'm going to leave that there and I want you to have a think about this bit and learning, growing and dreaming, those really important things as I read this little bit of the story that we've got to you. OK, so um, first of all, I want you to have a think about learning. OK, so there's treating other people the way you want to be treated. But actually, this time it's treating yourself properly, treating yourself with respect and learning and making the most of our time at school. Now, some grown-ups, when uh, they're trying to encourage you to work hard, start by saying about a, a bit of a regret. I wish I worked harder when I was at school, or I wish I did this when I was at school. So can you think of any examples of that where parents or grandparents or somebody else has told you about times when they said, oh, I wish I'd done this, or I wish I hadn't made that decision when I was younger? So one of mine is that uh, when I was, how old was I, about 31, yeah, about 31, I started, I took up running, and I really, really, really enjoyed it, and I really wish that I'd started um, running as a hobby earlier in my life, and uh, because I, I could have um, done lots more, I could have run more, I could have run faster, and I would have been a lot fitter. So that is a bit of a regret of mine. So share some of those. Has anybody got anything that mums or dads or grandparents or aunts and uncles and that sort of thing have said about regrets? Okay. Right. Now, some of these regrets can seem a bit boring. They're usually shared with the best of intentions. People just want to encourage you to have the best time you possibly can do. So I'm going to tell a story from the Bible now where Jesus went to learn where he, when he was a boy. OK, so Jesus grew up in the home of Mary and Joseph and Joseph was a carpenter. And it's likely that Jesus would have helped him sometimes. So he would have learned to use different tools and how to make things out of wood. Jesus also spent some time at school and the sort of school he would have gone to would have been running the local temple or synagogue, which is a Jewish church building. And we know this. And the teachers would have explained about reading, writing and God to the children who were there. Jesus would have gone to this sort of school like many other children and made the most of his chance to learn. Now, once a year, all the people in Jesus' village went to Jerusalem for a few days for a special celebration. And Mary and Joseph took Jesus and they all had a good time. And as they were on their way home, however, Mary suddenly realised Jesus wasn't with her. 
So she asked Joseph if he'd seen the boy, but Joseph couldn't see him anywhere and suggested they should go back to Jerusalem to find him. Mary and Joseph worried about Jesus as they rushed back to the city. And where could he be? They started to search the rooms where they'd stayed and the roads nearby. And eventually they decided to have a rest in the temple, the huge synagogue at the heart of the city. And as they entered the building, they spotted Jesus there, sitting on the floor, talking to the priests. And as they went closer, they heard him asking questions, finding out as much as he could, listening and learning all the time. The priests were really impressed with all that Jesus knew and his eagerness to learn more. And as Mary and Joseph set, back home, set off back home with Jesus, they asked him why he'd been there. Well, didn't you realise that I would be there in God's house, learning more about God, he said. So, what do you think are the important things that we could take away from that story? OK, what's the uh, important lesson to learn about that story? Have a think in class. OK, talk to your teacher, put your hands up. So I think two things that we've got here are Jesus worked hard and he was keen to learn. And Jesus thought about thought it was important to learn about God as well as reading, writing and other subjects. Now, in the Bible, um, in another part of the Bible, there is a collection of wise sayings and they're called Proverbs. It's called the Book of Proverbs. So. Um, oops. One of them is do yourself a favour and learn all you can. Do yourself a favour and learn all you can. Uh, Proverbs um, chapter 19, verse 8 from the Good News uh, Bible. And the idea is to learn all you can while you're at this school. Learn about reading and writing and math and science and history and geography, art and music and PE and lots of other things. Now, the quote that I've got here says, uh, don't neglect learning about the Bible and learning something about God, because this helps you to know how to treat people, how to behave and how to live a more fulfilled life. You don't need to look at the Bible and learn about God to do that, because this is the same in lots of religions where you can learn how to treat people, how to behave and how to live a more fulfilled life. So have a think about that. All the stuff that you can learn, the facts and figures, but actually this second bit um, here is about being a good person. And that's really, really important too. It tells you how to be a good person. Think about being a good person. There's no point in being really clever if you're not caring and kind. So one last thing to have a look at. When we look at this uh, cloud of words, which of those things have we been talking about when we're talking about being a good person? What do you think? So actually all of these are to do with being a good person. So there's things like mathematicians and artists and actors, but you can be, or, or scientists, but you can be those things. And you might not reach really high standards, you might find them really, really difficult, but you can still be a mathematician. Anybody can be a mathematician. It's about applying yourself and doing your absolute best. You might not be a world-class actor, you might not be a world-class athlete, but anybody who runs is an athlete. Anybody who makes something up, um, makes up a little play, is an actor. Anybody who does a science experiment, no matter how hard they find understanding it, is a scientist. And it's about that attitude. So, yes, learn all the stuff that you can, but do your best to apply those things to being a good person as well. Have a lovely rest of the day, guys. Bye bye.